All right, guys, I'm so sorry I'm not here today. So the last page that we did in our notebook was the hypotenuse leg theorem on 65. So we're starting a brand new chapter. I'm going to give that purple sheet to you guys, or this up's going to give you that purple sheet that you should put around the very next page. And look at those cute little triangles. They're so similar. Um, and then right next to that, we're going to put this one here. And if you want to cut them out and get a door, feel free. So I think today should be pretty easy. We're going to talk about ratios and proportions. What a ratio is, is really just a fancy name for rational. And something that is rational is fractional. Okay, so really we're just talking about my second favorite F word, fractions, like A over B. Okay, if we open that up, a ratio is a relationship. between two or more quantities, it can be written as A to be like this, or you might just write A to B, or my favorite way is fractionally, so A over B. We should always reduce it, so it must be reduced. So an example of that could be the football team played 62 regular season games last year. If they won 34 games, what is the ratio of wins to losses? So we want to write the ratio wins to losses. And I know that they won 34 games, but I don't yet know how many losses. I think I have to do 62 minus 34 to get that, which is going to be 28. So we have 34 to 28, which I'd rather write as a fraction, and then we should reduce, which it will definitely reduce by 2, so 17 over 14 is our ratio of wins to losses. We can also have extended ratios, which those don't make as much sense to be in fractional form as well uh, uh, anymore. And an extended ratio just has more than one relationship, so rather, or more than two relationships rather. So an extended ratio um, is a relationship of three or more quantities. So we're always going to write that one as like A to B to C to etc. You're never going to really write that in fractional form. Okay? So, an example of that might be the ratio of the measures of three angles in a triangle is 3 to 7 to 10. Find the measures of the largest angle. So, what I know about a triangle here and its angles is that the angles always add up to equal 180. And they're in ratio to each other, 3 to 7 to 10. So that means that 3 times something was one angle, and 7 times something was another, and 10 times something was the other. I know it can't just be 3, 7, and 10, because that's not going to get me 180. So that factor that we had in common was all divided out and it was all the same. So really when you have an extended ratio like this, you just want to put an x behind each number. And then because we're talking about the sum of the angles, add them all up to 180. So I would have 21x equals 180. And then I would divide by 21, which unfortunately doesn't go in very nicely. And so we get, oh, or I just don't know how to add. That's fine. And it's x equals 9. Haha, uh -huh, I was multiplying. Goofy. Okay. Last but not least, a proportion is two ratios that are equal to each other. So an equation that states two ratios are equal. We always want to write that as A over B equals C over D. So a fraction equals a fraction. And what you can do for any proportion when you have two fractions that are equal to each other, you can always use cross multiplication. And so if I did that, I would have A times D 
is equal to d times d. So I just multiply it across and across. So for instance, if I had something like this, a uh, ratio over here is equal to that ratio over there. I can take this one and multiply it across. Now I really have two numbers that I'm multiplying, so I think it's going to look like 10x minus 90. And then this number over here times that number over there, so we'll have 30x minus, I'm not going to screw this up again, um, 135. And so then we can just solve for x because I don't have a denominator anymore. And so I would get the x's on the same side by subtracting the 10 and then adding the 135. So 20x equals 45 and then divide each by 20. So x is 9 fourths. All right, hopefully the homework goes well, guys. Thanks.